Good morning children. Now you know how to reduce the given equation to its linear form. So let us see more examples. Here we are given a problem. The ages of Hari and Harry are in ratio 5 is to 7. 4 years from now the ratio of their ages would be 3 is to 4 and we need to find their present ages. So we know the ratio of the ages of Hari and Harry are in ratio 5 is to 7. So let's assume a variable y such that the age of Hari is 5y and age of Harry is 7y. After 4 years their ages would be just at 4. So Hari's age 5y plus 4 and Harry's age 7y plus 4. So after 4 years their ages would be 5y plus 4 and 7y plus 4. This is for Hari and this is for Harry. But we are also given that the ratio of their ages would after 4 years would be 3 is to 4. So what we can do? We can equate the two ratios. This is also their age after 4 years and their ratio would be 3 is to 4. So 5y plus 4 by 7y plus 4 should be equal to 3 by 4 as these two quantities represent the same ratio that is ratio of their ages after 4 years. This is the ratio 3 by 4 and this is also ratio of their age after 4 years. So we are just equating them. Now if you see it's not a linear equation. So we first need to reduce it to a linear equation to solve it and get the answer. So let's start to reduce it. Here we have 5y plus 4 divided by 7y plus 4 is equal to 3 by 4. The first step is we try such that the expression on the LHS doesn't have y in the denominator. How is it possible? We multiply both sides by 7y plus 4. So what do we get? 7y plus 4 multiplied by 5y plus 4 divided by 7y plus 4 which is equal to 3 by 4 multiplied by 7y plus 4. If you see LHS then 7y plus 4 gets cancelled in both the numerator and the denominator. So we are left with 5y plus 4 equal to on the RHS we have 3 by 4 multiplied by 7y plus 4. Now how to simplify it? Remember cross multiplication? So let's do cross multiplication. On the RHS we have 5y plus 4 which is same as 5y plus 4 by 1 and on the RHS we have 3 multiplied by 7y plus 4 divided by 4. So doing cross multiplication the RHS would be multiplied by 1 and the LHS would be multiplied by 4 because denominator on the LHS on cross multiplication goes and becomes multiplier in the numerator of the RHS and here the denominator of the RHS would become the multiplier in the LHS. Basically when you are moving from LHS to RHS the divisor becomes the multiplier. So we do this cross multiplication. Hence we get 4 multiplied by 5y plus 4 is equal to 3 multiplied by 7y plus 4. If you see we have put brackets which means 
4 needs to be multiplied by both 5y and also 4. Same way, 3 needs to be multiplied by both 7y and also 4. Simplifying, what do we get? 4 multiplied by 5y is 20y. 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. On the RHS, 3 multiplied by 7y is 21y. And 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. So, here we have the equation 20y plus 16 equal to 21y plus 12. Is this equation in linear form? Yes, it is because we see here power of y is 1 only on both the sides 20y, 21y. So, we can solve this. 20y plus 16 is equal to 21y plus 12. Now, as we already said, to simplify, we need to, on any one side of the equation, remove the constants so that only variable is left. For this, if we subtract 20y from both sides, it would happen, which means variable y would be only on one side. Let us see. 20y plus 16 minus 20y equal to 21y plus 12 minus 20y. What do we get? 20y and minus 20y cancel each other. So we are left just with 16 or plus 16 on the LHS. What happens on the RHS? 21y minus 20y. So, we are left with y and plus 12. So, the equation gets reduced to 16 equal to y plus 12. Here we see y is on the LHS. So, now to make y alone on the RHS, what do we do? We subtract 12 from both sides and we get 4 here because 16 minus 12 is 4 and on the RHS what do we get? y plus 12 minus 12 12 minus 12 cancel each other so we are left with y we get here 4 equal to y so remember children it's the same whether you write 4 equal to y that is y you are getting on the RHS or y equal to 4 with y on the RHS is the same and this is the solution that y is equal to 4. Now let's check the answer. We put the value y equal to 4 in this equation. So this becomes 5 multiplied by y which is 4 here. So 20 plus 4 denominator 7y 7 multiplied by 4 becomes 28 plus 4 bring it down plus 4 and RHS as is 3 by 4. Simplifying this further, we get 24 by 32 that is 28 plus 4 is equal to 32. This is equal to 3 by 4. Now this can be reduced and what do we get? We get 8 threes are 24 and 8 fours are 32. So, 3 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. LHS equal to RHS which means our solution is right. That is Y is equal to 4. But wait, we haven't arrived at the ages of Harry and Hurry. So, let's put the value in the variable. Hari's age 5Y. Harry's age 7y. So, y is 4. So, his age would be 5 multiplied by 4 which is 20 and Harry's age would be 7y. So, 7 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 28. So, their present ages are 20 and 28. Now, let's see what would be their age after 4 years. 5y plus 4 which becomes 5 multiplied by 4 
plus 4. So 20 plus 4 is 24. And what about Harry? 7y plus 4. So 7 multiplied by 4 plus 4 which becomes 28 plus 4 which is equal to 32. Now lastly just verify. They said the ratio of their age would become 3 by 4 after 4 years. So let's verify it. Ratio of their age is 24 by 32. So 8 3 is 24 and 8 4 is 32. This gets reduced to 3 by 4. And that is what was given in the problem. So this proves the answer that y is equal to 4 and their age is 20 and 28. What we arrived at is correct. So that's all for now. Bye bye children.